Here, man, fight, fight, guys. Check it out. I'm supposed to be cashing out. Why the hell am I still over here? Why am I still by this? Look at this, guys. We ain't pick it up. Look under it. Man. Yeah, so I would definitely change out the plastic axles right here out of that joint. They got the metal ones for $100 already. They already got the metal ones, guys. What else? Yeah, you could do the major upgrade with this. You do the full upgrade with this joint. Man, got some here. It looks solid, guys. It looks solid. I owe my buddy another video, man. I put it on YouTube. He loved it anyway. I said it was choppy. He said, I don't care. It was fine. I just happy to see that you about to get that joint. Nice, guys. Real nice. I love that. Ooh. Yeah, it's going to handle jump. It's going to be good, guys. I think I'm going to be good. And I love these little guys, too, man. And you would have to get two of these, too. You can have a whole bunch of fun with just two of these joints. Get a trailer for them, guys. It's over. But man, look at this guy back here. So I'm gonna have to do the Mad Max soon, guys. We getting her there. It's getting solid. Got Mad Max out. Did you see the system I put inside? Yeah. I got the 12 STP inside there. 12 S ESC. I gotta get some 6S batteries so I can tried onto it but i got it turned down on the remote i want to respect it and not respect my differentials as long as you ease into it yeah ease into it i cut it down at the front speed down on the remote so when i do you know it delays for whatever seconds i got on it but it's, it's perfect it's working fine yeah i just put the max 6 g2 with the oh you did XRT. so hold on you can do it this is a 12s drag motor and they say we're not supposed to do that right well, wrong. I'm going back to the beach today with it. <laughs> and I love the price. Yeah, I, uh, I turned the traction control on and a little bit on it. Yeah. For the start. Yeah. So I don't blow the stock diffs out. Yeah, so you don't, yeah. Because <laughs> I got the stock ring and pinion. I did do the aluminum housings. Can you get the, um, can you do anything different with the differentials? Um talking the ring uh, the spur and yeah the, the, you can um not the spur i changed that to hot racing no no no, no. in the, in the inside front, the case yeah yeah your main uh, gear actually, and then your pinion gear what did you do to yours i have the stock stuff okay but like i said i put the traction in to soften the hit yeah so i don't blow them out but i have a spare set i have the stock stuff yeah just in case throw it in there if i do blow one up the um gpm has spiral ones and what they did with the pinion is they have a c-clip oh. you have to take the whole bulkhead apart oh and then do it but it c-clips in oh. it in one piece so it doesn't walk okay don't get the hot racings i did that so Two you pretty runs. much locked it you I locked yours the front one did, because the pinion walks and it just eats everything up and it breaks the gears so you pretty much got yours locked so all your will go at one time you no, spin no. one uh, it, it's still got, it's I got still the do that. stuff in it okay. now. I just did the aluminum housing to beat oh. the housing up. But if I do break one... Because I noticed, man, mine started splitting right in there. Oh, okay. The plastic housing? Yeah. I did do the uh, hot racing cover. I did do the hot racing aluminum cover Traxxas. You might have it here. I don't think they got it yet. I know they make it for the XFT there on the Ultimate, and I've seen them online. Yeah, they got them on the Ultimate, but... I want to see the ultimate bulkheads and stuff come for the rear and back. Yeah, if you want the whole bulkhead, a uh, bit of on. Do they got trail, the whole thing? Yeah, trail and what? bit of on. If you look on Amy and Hobbies, they just got trail. What about and under it? What the thing that I need under it so it won't bend? GPM makes one, and then M2C Racing has a lot of hop on it. Man, you know I a lot, the, man. I have that. Where do you run? Case. Where do you run, man? My backyard. You do? I gotta find another Listen, area. Listen, I have I have YouTube and TikTok, man. We have a lot of followers and stuff like that, and I run all the time, man. And I got a guy. Him and his kids come out with me. 
Yeah, man. If you ain't doing nothing, I got a number, man. We can exchange numbers and you can. I got so different spots. I like to go to the beach and test that because I like how I dig in the sand. I do got paddles. Oh, God. <laughs> I just got uh, with the XRT. I have Italian. Yeah. And I have it, Italian and I've got the uh, dual mounts for the Mojave. Is this the right diameter? You got a dual mounts? The dual mounts, yeah. Oh, God. These things are nasty. I did get to test it once. Just because I, I'm trying to make this one the best thing. You got a little $60 thumb size I camera. These are kind of but, uh, really attractive. Oh my yeah, God, those look and... mean, man. If you put those on the sand, <clears throat> can I show you my homeboy, Talion? Check his out. And then, um, and then, what do you guys got for uh, bodies? For You're only get about three seconds to actually. The original <laughs> sludge bodies. Yeah. But that was heavy wet snow and it That's drips through. Color. And then it still handles pretty good. I've got the Traxxas paddles on my sledge and had it out. And I was pulling the wheels off, the front wheels off the ground like that. It was. But I couldn't steer for shit. It was just sliding all over. Here, let me show you Al's uh, Talion. He got it um, done, I think. Yeah, here's Al this yeah, way. Yeah, I just put the new Firma 150V2 in it. I didn't get a chance to try it. It's supposed to give it a little bit more snap. Okay, here we go. Right here, there he goes. Yeah. He called it Sandman, so I put the Sandman song behind it. <laughs> See, that's the Talion. You stretch it, or is it stock chassis? I don't know how he did the chassis. I don't know what the hell he did, man. He did some stuff to it. I think the Mojave is longer. Is there no? Like Italian. See all the stuff in it you got? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he builds them. You love this one. This was a Typhon. I love that thing. Five, six S. I love it. Man. And that's all the six S parts. I Do you got it? Limitless suspension in it. Yeah. I put the front frame structure on it. That's the TLR Typhon rear fin. I know a guy that makes some chassis too for that custom chassis. I was looking at the carbon fiber, but I'm not sure if I want to stretch or not. They have the stretch carbon fiber, but not the I thing. love the stretch one. My homeboy trying to get me to stretch one now for 450. You think I should get it? It's all stock. Oh my you God, wait, look at that If thing. it's all stock, if you wait, they go on sale for 420. Okay. Pick this up for 420 brand new. I just Do it, got the Just like that? Not like that. But if you want a stock one, you okay. can get a stock one for No, I want a chassis like that. <laughs> like I say, um... This is a stock chassis. I didn't stretch it. Yeah. But I just put the Cobra 8 in it. I'm waiting for the weather to get better. This was my first parking lot. And then I went and got my felony. And that has the, that has the new Mac 6 G2 with the 4990 in it. I'm only running on 6S so far. Okay. Trying to get it kind of where I can drift it decent. Yeah. Playing with the diff fluids and stuff. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm about to put together my drag cars right now. And I just got it for messing around in the parking lots. See, Hellcat? Hello, guys. Welcome back. You know what a good system to do? Get you a 1721 and you're gonna be nothing gonna stop it. I got it for just bashing around and stuff. Oh, you do? Drifting around in the parking oh. lots. Oh! But I got ADS if I wanna do a speed run and play. I was never bit. good at drifting. I have to learn how to do that. I wanna get into that. I just got a drift drift car. Because I got the place And how it worked? How it worked for you? I've just been messing around with it. I yeah. just got the Hobby Wind drift set up in it. Oh. So I can tune the ESC and everything. But I'm about to check out and hit the drift track they just opened up. Wow, they Ontario. have a drift track? They just opened up. They should up. open They're a bash. On Facebook. ROC Drift. Do they have a bashing track anywhere? Like a dirt track that you know of? Like for bikes that you know of anywhere? No. No. Um, if you want to do RC cars, Parrington has a public. I've seen that one. I don't like it. The x Mac is walk all over that thing. Yeah, it's a little small for that. It's for stampedes. Like, yeah, I have a yeah. Rustler and my Typhon I was going to run up there. My buddy has a 3S Typhon. Oh. I'm going to go up there, take my 6S on 4S and run it. But, uh, yeah, if you yeah, man, you want to check them out, ROC Drift. 
They just got oh, all their info. Man. Yeah, so, them guys know what they doing in there. I'll be in there crashing everybody's car up. I wanna go up to there. You probably have to have some skills to get in that joint, huh? Um, like I guess I gotta get the garage and mess with it. I've only had a couple weeks of them. Do you wanna put my number in your phone just in case, man? Whenever you out? Or if I you... see you next time, I will. Okay, I bet. Hey man, nice talking to you. Yeah. Man, gave me a lot of knowledgeable yeah. stuff I there. I will be in next Saturday for Gundam Club if you do stop in. Okay, so what time? Around this time? Two to four. All right, man. Yeah. Oh. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me there. Here I go, man. What I love about the X-Men is everything easy to fix on it. Look at them guys up there. You ready for me to put it in there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.